Good morning, everybody. I know the lighting's terrible. I tried to shift a little bit. I'm outside and the sun's just coming up. Today, as we mourn the loss of Queen Elizabeth II, it calls me to prayer. And I think it calls many, many people to pray. People all around the world will be filled with sorrow today. So let's pray in Jesus' name to the Holy Father to give us strength and solace during this difficult time. And let's pray in the words our Savior gave us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and Lord, grant us peace in our day. In Jesus' name we pray. We must think about King Charles III, even now in his deepest sorrow. He has accepted the responsibility of the burden of the crown. He's going to need our support. He's going to need our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray that King Charles receives the solace, comfort, and support from all his subjects and people around the world as he accepts the burden of the crown. We pray in Jesus' name that King Charles III reigns and rules his realms with wisdom and compassion for his people. Holy Father, in Jesus' name we pray for all members of the royal family as they're suffering in their grief. They can't suffer privately. They will be suffering publicly along with the rest of the world and all of us that feel a deep loss at this time. Lord, in Jesus' name we pray for everybody around the world that knew the queen, that loved the queen, that feel the loss. In Jesus' name, grant them peace. Grant them solace in this very difficult time. Jesus calls us to pray and to pray often, to pray always. Through Jesus Christ, we can pray for others. We can pray for ourselves. If you believe that the Holy Father sent his son, Jesus Christ, to the earth as the savior for all mankind to wash away our sins, take up the burden of our sins, All you have to do is believe that and you shall be saved. Call out to God. Call out to Jesus. Jesus, I want to know you. Jesus, I want you in my life. Repent. Repent of all your sins. We're all sinners. Nobody is without sin. Call to God in Jesus' name and repent of your sins and ask him into your heart and into your life. And pray often. Pray to Jesus often. Pray for comfort. Pray for strength. Pray for wisdom and knowledge. Pray for friends and family. Pray for the sick. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your enemies. Pray for everyone. Pray through Jesus Christ, our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of those prayers will be lifted up to heaven as you listen to this now. Maybe you're listening to it 
two days from now, three weeks from now, a year from now, it doesn't matter. It's like quantum entanglement. It's kind of neat. Um, science and religion are starting to come together because they can't explain it. God is real. Jesus is real. And he's listening in real time. Whenever you pray, that is the moment. So pray always. Pray often. In Jesus' name. Call to God in Jesus' name. Repent of your sins. Accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, and you will be saved and find the promise of God and your rightful place in heaven. And as your faith grows, you can see, you can see it in your real life. You can see it in real time. God performs miracles every day. As you pray, your faith will grow. This is what God wants. God's waiting to hear from you. So talk to him today. Love you. Amen.